Assalamualaikum. Islamic Motivation Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Abdullah ibn Umar said the Prophet ﷺ approached us. He's about to say something so important that he just remembered. He said, Ya ma'ashar al muhajirin O oh, noble muhajirun, O oh, migrants. He's talking to Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali. These are the ones who migrated from Mecca to Medina. Because this was at the Masjid of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, O oh, noble men of muhajirin, there are five bad things that are going to happen. They are going to befall my ummah towards the end of time. وَأَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ I seek refuge in Allah that it does not happen in your time. Such a difficult challenge. He said, and I want the young people to listen to this especially. Parents also indirectly. Close one ear and open the other ear. He said, number one, when sexual obscenity becomes widespread, a widespread norm in my ummah. And it will never happen except if they start committing it publicly and publicizing it openly. Meaning they feel proud about talking about it. They feel good talking about it. They don't have to do it, but they talk about it. They publicize it. Rasulullah said they make i'lan for it. They make an advertising for it. Do you know what that means? It means that when you're at school, for example, at high school, and you hear your friend talking about going out with a boyfriend or a boy saying, I've been out with this many girls. They're actually lying to you. It's not true. And then you go and do it because you think everybody else is doing it. Immense studies have come up today telling us research about high school students, young people. Why do they commit zina? They say because they think everyone else does, but they don't. And everybody loves to publicize themselves that way. And zina is not publicized just by merely saying, I go out with this person or that person. Today on social media, it's publicized in an indirect way. How? The way girls and boys pose on the internet, to other people. That type of posing is a sexual posing, my brothers and sisters in Islam. The way they do it with their mouth and with their eyes and with their faces. Rasulullah told us they publicize zina. You know that round mouth thing? What do they call it? Duck face. This thing was taken from the baboon kingdom. Did you know that? You study zoology, I'll tell you it took from the baboon kingdom. Because the baboon have a big red side. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's lipstick or degrading anybody. No, 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 no. I'm saying they display it in order to call the mate. Now we're displaying it, boys and girls. I'm not talking about females only. I'm talking about men as well. I'm not being sexist here. I'm saying the publicizing of sexual material and sexual images. Sorry if I said that word too many times because we live, and I'm going to say it one more time, in a hypersexualized society. Rasulullah told us this is what's going to happen, and this is the most widespread thing right now. Most widespread thing right now. People are going to die with this. It is an absolute epidemic that Rasulullah told us وَفَشَ zina. zina is widespread throughout. He's not talking about the non-Muslims. He is telling the Ummah, he's saying my Ummah, they will be in that. And then Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, then mark my words, he said, then mark my words, terminal illnesses, diseases and pain that had never existed in their ancestors before them will come, become widespread among them. And this is the types of this, he called it Ta'un. Ta'un in those days was any unknown sickness that brought death to a person. There was no cure to it. And he said there will be diseases that have no cure that will become an epidemic among my ummah. Today we have HIV, AIDS, and we have STDs, sexually transmitted diseases. Now I have questions like this from the Muslim community. Brother said, I'm a marriage celebrant. So people come to asking me questions. Can I get married? I said, yes, why not? And these are the types of questions I'm getting now. Brother, do I have to tell this person that I'm getting married to that I have STD? Did you know that these are the questions they're asking me right now? All over the place. We say, yes, of course you have to tell them because it's a contagious disease. They say, what if I have it under control? There's some kind of control pills. Say, but when you, when you don't have the pills, they actually, what they exacerbate. And then if they're pregnant, they have a child, the child gets that STD as well automatically. Did you know that? Among the Muslim Ummah. You know why? Because people, what they say is that Muslims, they say, I'm not committing zina, but they do everything else. And look what happens. That's what Rasulullah told us. The second thing he said, they will cheat in their business and trade as a livelihood. And that's when drought will come 
upon them, meaning poverty, dictating rulers and oppressive rulers upon them. This is happening among the Ummah. They live upon cheating, lying and betraying. I'll give you an example. A Muslim wants to buy a car from another Muslim. One Muslim says, Wallahi, it cost me this much. The other Muslim believes him because he said, Wallahi. So then the other Muslim wants to blackmail him. How does he blackmail him? By using verses of the Quran and Hadith. Allah said, Rasulullah said, love for your brother what you love for yourself. I'm your brother. Give me a cheaper price. So the other brother resorts to the Wallahi thing and he resorts to the Hadith thing. Each one blackmailing the other person with the religion. And this brings to me a Hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he said, and people, this is in Ibn Majah, he said, people will use the religion for their worldly gain. This is the word the end of time. They will use the religion for their worldly gain. They will use the religion for a status. Look at me, I'm a Shaykh. Now listen to me. I'm a Shaykh, female. Now listen to me. I am uh, such and such of a person. This is my hadith and ayat. Now I will get to make people believe what I say and I'll be the person who everybody listens to. It's even worse today because we get to hide behind usernames on, com on the computer. Everybody, even the most shyest of people have be has become the loudest person now. Sits in their bedroom, hides behind the username and feels it okay to type anything. It never goes off. And this is where your fatwa now is People kind of believe some things when they get written. I don't know why. This is the world we live in, using the deen for worldly gain. Number three, he said they will stop their zakat. People, how many people even know the rules in Islam of zakat? What are the rulings of zakat? How do you give zakat? For what do you give zakat? I'm sure, mashallah, a lot of us know a lot about Islamic finance and the riba banks because many Muslims they say, What's this Islamic finance business? I'll just go to ANZ. It's the same thing, man. This is trade. This is it's just a different name, they say. If everybody's such an expert on Islamic finance and all this other finance, how come they don't know much about zakat? This is what Rasulullah is saying. People become ignorant about their own deen. Number four, he said, they will betray the promises and loyalty to Allah to the point that the enemy will control and possess their wealth. Now, millions and billions of dollars are given away to the non-Muslims to deal with it in our own countries and control us. The fifth thing is their leaders and figures do not apply the laws of Allah's book, but choose what suits from them for themselves until Allah curses them with disunity and enmity amongst each other. I say to you, it's not just the leaders, but all figures. Everybody now has become a leader, a self-appointed leader of themselves on social media, for example. And what it has caused is disunity and defragmentation of our ummah. We cut each other off. We don't talk to each other. We meet each other now on Facebook and that's about it really. People don't meet anyone anymore. People don't say salams except to people who they know. Otherwise, it's a very individualistic society. We live in a society where it's about you and only you, myself and me. Rasulullah told us the last day will be about that. About me and myself or I. Three most common words used now. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.